Hey guys, it's Sheena here and I've finally completed my Sleeping Beauty theme journal and this is how she looks like so she's about um, it has five signatures so it's about 20 pages per signature but there's about about roughly 100 ish because there are some inserts that I if, that I've included in as well so this is how the cover looks like that and there's um, a little eyelet here so you can hang your charms there um, and this is how thick it is yeah so there you go so let me open her up yeah so this is um, I've done some decoupage here and also this is from an old earring I had which I think made the book um, more um, more elegant I think yeah so when you open it this is how she looks like inside um, this is a library card right there so like that so you can write the name of your journal and your name right there you can slip it back in I'll do that later okay so the first signature is basically um, the Princess Aurora being born um, so this is how it looks like it's an introduction um, signature so all these images came from a um, Sleeping Beauty children's illustrated book so I just like got a few images and put those in so here is a tuck spot right here so this is a of a bed I mean sleeping beauty <laughs> being all and then there's a tuck spot at the back as well so it slips in here okay and then this is a journaling page um this is a plastic insert um you can close it up i guess but i've left it open so you can slide things in there and this is just another cutout right here you can journal on the back of this um, some lace trim here. This is a tuck spot as well. Okay, and this is a tuck spot. So this is an envelope, the Sleeping Beauty right there. So you can put whatever you want in there. So it goes like that, so you can see the Sleeping Beauty name here. So I'll just close the back part. Um, this is a, a bookmark. You need tuck spot right there. Um, so this is a printout sheet of um, the Sleeping Beauty um, music sheet from the theater or something like that. I'm not quite sure. It says La Belle au Bois Dormant. I think it's um, the Sleeping Beauty in the Woods or something like that. So here's a mini journaling card right there. Um, lots of bows in this journal. <laughs> um, yep. So this is supposedly Sipping Beauty, the Queen, and you know Princess Aurora. And this blue love fabric here and this rose is probably you know fabric from you know the baby's clothing and whatnot. Um, this is a journaling card, perhaps one of her fairy godmothers, and a tuck spot right here. I left I've left this empty so you can do whatever you want on that. Um, another the other side of that plastic sheet, so I've included even more journaling cards in there and this is a tuck spot right here so this is just one of the Sleeping Beauty postcards I got from one of the website um, resources I shared so I've stuck it behind this little postcard right there so this goes in here and this little heart here is also a journaling spot so you can tuck something in here as well And then here is a full um, page envelope, um, more trims here, this one has little bits of sequin there, yep, and there you go, and that's a mini sneak of the castle from the children's book. So that's the first signature done. So the second signature is um, Princess Aurora, you know, being girly and all, just a very girly signature. So that's the front of the signature. And then this is just a Sleeping Beauty 
sort of a calendar and there's a poem here and it's a sleeping beauty right there so a doily tuck spot right there the other side um old ledger paper i printed on craft paper um this is a little journaling page right there um and this is the other side but this is a tuck spot with some um border going on here and then this is just an index card, half of it. I've done some digital prints on there. Um, also another bookmark. And this is um, right inside here is a uh, glass and bag, I think. Um, so I put a sticker right there, but it's easy to take out. And inside there's just an old um, printout of um, royalty-ish kind of um, letter, I think. So it just tucks behind there. And then more journey pages, more of these trims right here. Yep, there you go. Um, the other side of the index card. There's a mini tuck spot right here. Like that. And then this is also a tuck spot right here. Um, this is a, a an old vintage check printed out and this is um, a tuck spot right there right? and there's a bit of poem going on there so the tuck side there more journaling pages this is just um, a printout of um, an old Sleeping Beauty book I think this the moral of the story or something along those lines and that ends the second signature and the third signature is also another girly one about her being in love. I think there's a bit of clothing in there, I think. Um, clothing printouts. Um, so this is a secret pocket right there. So this is a... I think you call it a... Um, I have no idea what you call it. Waterfall pocket or something like that. So you can stick secret notes in there. There's nothing in here at the moment. Yeah. And then... Um, a fabric tag, and we all know this quote from Sleeping Beauty Disney. You know you love me at once, the way you did once upon a dream. Okay, and here is a long envelope right there. This is a tuck spot right there. And this is an envelope. Uh, not an envelope, sorry. Um, a little journaling card right there. So that goes in there. And that sort of tucks right there. Okay, more journaling pages, some bookmarks, journaling card on an old ledger paper. This is a vintage envelope right there. Um, this is also one of those checks. I've just um, printed them out and it's printed them out on the back of this really lovely paper. So, tucks in there. A little punch there. So, this is also another... Um, plastic pocket bag but I love that it has this blue and pink print on it so I've just uh, glued a label here a vintage label I think it gives so much character and this is the fashion printout that I was talking about which is really really cool is it focusing okay there we go um, and then this is an envelope right here so you can put things in there a little decoupage going on here. This is um, a stock card of which I've printed some stuff here, some florals. And then this is just a, a, I think it's a German poem, I'm not quite sure. In the back, and this is also the other part of the envelope where you can put things in there. Joining pages, um, more of those vintage fashion right there. This is the other side of the plastic. <laughs> Another vintage label right there. This is the spinning wheel. Um, I mean, Sleeping Beauty and all, so you have to have a spinning wheel in there. And then um, this is a top spot right there. Measuring tape. Okay, and then measuring pages. This is a top spot right there. Also a top spot, and this is something special. So when you close it, it looks like it's one whole page so you can write stuff in here like a secret um, journal entry or something 
and the font signature is a little darker uh, I initially planned it to be all black but I decided it was too morbid I mean this is after all a really girly journal so um, I've mixed black and red and a little tiny bit of blue in this signature so this is basically um, more about the prince going to fight you know the dragon to awaken the princess and whatnot so this is how it looks like it's, like I said very black some blue pattern here journaling page so this is one of those mini small secret pockets that you can write things in there when you open there's the bookmark right here um, this is another of that vintage looking envelope this is the a postcard right there um, so you see that there's a the king card right here so inside here is actually where the queen is so this is a mini 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 book right there so it opens up like that so it's two-sided so I'll put that in here Oops. Okay. Gotta be really careful with all these little delicate trims and borders. That folds in like that. Um, some trims here are written there. So a little die cut right there. Oh, and this fabric here, I love it. So I've got the prints here. You know, I'm making his way through the castle and whatnot. So this fabric right here, I found from um and. A tailor shop I got it from them so it looks like if you can see um, so it looks like do you know when the um, princess wore when they go to battle that little shiny metal thing inside that um, sort of set a bullet vest but it's not for bullets you know what I mean um, yeah so it looks like that it looks like it's woven like that and then it has all these shiny metal things there. Oh, I love this. Love, love, love. Okay, wait, let me put this back. So that's the other side. That's a sneak peek of the castle. Um, I've stuck on um, a lace vellum on it as well. Okay, so this is the middle. So this is a pocket. You can put things in there. And this is also another fabric that um, I got from the tailor. It's also super pretty. I figured, you know, it looks like that. I think it's part of a um, sari, I think. Yeah, it's so pretty. I figured, you know, this is probably part of what the prince wore as well, part of his royal garments as well. So I just put that in there. It's a bit hard, but I'll just leave it here first. And this is a bookmark right here. Um, you can stick photos in here if you want. So again, black and white theme going on. A bit red. Okay, more journaling pages. And here is just an old earring I had, which I think fitted with the theme of this signature and some black lace here. This could be, I don't know, an emblem or something. Um, and here is some um, more journaling pages. This small little thing here um, that I cut just as memory so if you have um, gold pens or go in the dark you can scribble here here you can journal here but this is also an envelope um, so when you take this out oh this is so scary because it's such a thick card okay there you go so there you go so you can put things in there as well so I really love this little secret, not secret I guess, but just this little compartment idea. And this is the last signature, it's, you know, when the prince finds the sleeping beauty and they're sort of getting married. So, as usual, it's very girly, very girly, very lacy. Um, so, more journey page here. And this is just um, from that book I told you about. So here it just says, um, time is measured in minutes, um, life is measured in moments. So this is one of the pinnacle moments in Sleeping Beauty fairy tale. 
and then this is a, just a joining page you can put in there um, it slides out like that so you can replace it with whatever you want or put something else in there just like that um, another vellum right there a ribbon right here so this is also something special that I got from the tailor shop so this is um, a special border for this so I imagine this would be what the prince, princess's um, wedding dress would a snippet of her, her wedding dress you know how it would look like so grand so you can take it up like that so this is how it looks like I've just sewn it on look how pretty it's shining and the lace oh my god and I love this border as well this this background oh, makes everything look so elegant and royal and something blue um, so that goes in there fabric tag this is an envelope right here and this is just a bookmark right there you can channel on there okay and this is the lace tuck spot um, ledger paper um, so this is a tuck spot as well this is a journaling card right there and also this is a mini book so it has two sides so you can journal in there as well so this goes in here like that and this is a double po double full side pocket so you can put things in there let me show you here or here and you can this access tuck spot as well or you can put it here I've just put it at the bottom because I don't know that's how I can like it and the ledger page um, some more trims here you can I don't know what I should sew it but um, I, I kind of like it like that so you can sort of tuck something in there and then this is empty as well this is the other side you can fill it up with whatever you want you can tie a ribbon here if you want it um this is the vellum more drawing pages and this is the end um oh, i love this as well so girly huh and so this opens up like that as well so you can do more journaling here as well and this is the back of the book so that is it for the Sleeping Beauty theme journal. I hope you like it and um, yeah, thanks guys.